All right, then. You have an enjoyable stay in our fashionable town. You let him go? I guess it was his lucky day. But Paula, I'm surprised. The 319, socks and sandals. It's not like you. He's a tourist from Stuttgart. Oh, it's legal there. Yep. Crimes of Fashion. Starring fashion police officers Brian Tree. You free! And Riva de Paula. Fighting the scourge of bad taste on behalf of style-conscious trendsetters everywhere, this is Crimes of Fashion. Here's your host, Rhoda Carolissen. Welcome to Crimes of Fashion, the only show that seeks out fashion criminals and reforms them into stylish trendsetters. I'm Rhoda Carolissen. You'll forgive me for starting the program on a serious note, but I need to alert you to the reality that lack of fashion or ultra-casualness is a growing concern. It affects us all. So to ensure that this town remains a stylish environment for all its citizens, officers Treban and Paula are taking a zero tolerance for all fashion criminals. Excuse me, ma'am, stop right there. That pink bag just doesn't go with the rest of your outfit. I'm gonna have to write you a fashion citation. <laughs> it's not raining, there's no need for waterproofing. I'm, I'm old. Does that count? You can never be too old okay. for fashion style. Your sense of ultra casual style <laughs> is really, really beginning to offend me because you're not you're not standing out from the crowd and there's nothing wrong with making someone ex look at you and say va va boom. Exactly. Stop you right there. I have to write you a fashion citation. Do you own an iron? Yes. What? It was wrinkle free this morning. I swear. Well, it isn't now. the vehicle, ma'am. Officer DePaulo, what is the offense? The offense is as follows. Wrinkled shirt, black dress, pants, and running shoes. Not a great match. Not to mention her hair. She could use a blow dryer. Your name is, ma'am? Krista. Krista, is this your first offense? Yes, it is. I ironed my shirt this morning, and it looked great three hours ago. I don't know what happened. Excuses, excuses. I've heard them all, and it doesn't make our job any easier. We have to proceed. Into the car, ma'am. Well, there you have it. Our fashion police officers have wasted no time in getting that first arrest. Let the makeovers begin. I thought I looked okay in my blouse and my pants, but then all of a sudden these people jumped out dressed in black and gave me a ticket for not ironing my shirt. <laughs> and I was surprised. I thought I looked okay, but I guess not. Okay, so Krista, I can see your hair is very uh, fine. It's almost like baby fine. <laughs> so what I would do is actually uh, give you a haircut that will actually maximize uh, your volume and make it look fuller. However, um, what is your profession? I work for a bank. Oh, I see. So what I would do is actually give you a very elegant hairstyle, but also very modern at the same time. What I'm doing now is actually uh, to cut out all the split end you have because the ends are very dry. I was nervous, I guess, before I came in here because I could picture my hair being cut really short. And I don't really want that because I look really too young. So, but after talking to Rory, I think I'm going to look great. So now we're all done for the pre-cut. So well, I'm gonna blow dry it, and then I'm gonna do the haircut one more time after when it's dry. Basically, the shape is already there. What I have to do is actually uh, put more details into your haircut, and then I'm gonna send you to Michelle for some hair color. are definitely going to create a beautiful blonde on you today. I'm 
I'm going to create a little bit more of a three-dimensional look on you. I'm going in with uh, three different colors, so we're going to have a little bit of a tricolor effect, dealing with some caramels, uh, deeper caramels, a, a lighter caramel, and then a paler blonde. Okay, now, Krista, I'm going to put the finishing touch, a little bit of uh, hair product to make your hair look shinier and more um, controllable. Okay, now. Okay. Yeah, what's good about it is you can wear it elegantly, uh, smooth, or you can like mess it up a little bit and make it look really full. Okay? I absolutely love it. Oh, great. Krista's pretty without makeup, but why go oh naturel, especially when you have makeup artist and stars Kim Dignan standing by. Hi, Krista. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Hi, Kim. I'm going to do your makeup today. Okay. Your hair looks fantastic, so I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup to polish the look, okay? Lovely. Good. I'm just going to apply a little bit of foundation, and it has an iridescence to it, so on really, really nice, clean skin, it's nice because it just gives it a little bit of an added glow. I'll just add a little bit of bronzer. Because you have the rosiness in your cheeks already, you want to stay away from anything with um, a red or a pink face, because it'll just make it look more rosy. It won't blend. It won't blend, yeah. And because you have um, a smaller lid area, you want to use something that's really bright and shimmery to help bring attention to it, and it's going to open up your eye more. So I've chosen a soft pink shadow that's got a bit of a purple undertone in it, and it's really going to help to bring out the green in your eyes. For your brow bone, I'm using a really soft vanilla color, and you're going to take it all over to give it a finished, polished look. I'm just going to add a lighter brown to your eyebrows, seeing as they've highlighted your hair. It's just going to make them look a little bit softer. So just curl your eyelashes and that just really helps to lift and open your eyes. Okay, I'm all done. You want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I love it. Yeah, it I'm looks very great. happy with it. Yeah. You look fantastic. And it's nice and light, something I can wear to work every day. Mm -hmm. It's something that I, I will wear. I love it. Good. You must be Krista. Hi, yes. I have a big surprise for you today. What's that? We have Franco Mirabelli to dress you. Welcome to my store. Thank you. Oh, you know what? You're pretty. But I can see why the fashion police may have pulled you over. <laughs> it must have been the running shoes. Should we go? Yes. Come with us. Okay, Krista, come on out. Let's have a look. Wow. You, you look hot. Come on in here. Let's have a look. You've got that whole Diana Rigg thing happening from the yeah. 60s. I love the stripes on her. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Neat little crop pant with the slit in front. We've done our striped little belted jacket. Makes it look, you know, sort of pristine, crisp, very contemporary. And it's one of those outfits you can take anywhere. Where do you think you'd wear it? I could wear this to work. I could wear it on the weekends. I could wear it out and look great. Because you're going to England soon, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to England, so it'll be a great outfit for going out. I love it. Okay, come on out, Krista. Let's have a look at outfit number two. Wow, you look amazing. You look, look at her. Absolutely gorgeous. She's so sexy. This is why I do clothes. I love it. And to think you thought we couldn't find a dress that would fit you right. I know. I love it. It's stunning. It's like it was made for you. Well, it's a stretch denim. It's a little bra dress. We've got the invisible bra strap detail. It's sexy. It's feminine. It's totally modern. And I think this is all about Krista. How do you feel in it? Really good. Really good. I feel you like look I look so good. Happy. Yeah, you've got this big smile on your face. Is Definitely. This a <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so Krista, it's that time in the show where you have to pick an outfit. Which one is it going to be and why? Well, it's a really hard decision. Um, I love this dress. It's gorgeous. I feel really good in it. I feel sexy in it. I love the details. Um, but I think that I'm going to go with the other outfit. Uh, I really love the jacket with the belt, and I feel like I could get a lot of wear out of it. Um, I feel sexy in that, too, and I can wear it to work. I can wear it out. I'll get a lot of use out of it, and I love the bright colors. Fantastic. I love, I love both of them on her, but, you know, you have to go with your heart. <laughs> Meeting Franco was wonderful. Uh, he's got a great sense of style. Uh, he's got great clothes. He picked out some great stuff for me. I loved it. It was really an experience. It's a great job. I mean, who can complain? I get to travel around the world, pick beautiful fabrics. I work with women all day. I cannot complain. It's what I do. The highlight of the day is probably when it all came together at the end, and I've got the outfit on, and my hair and my makeup done, and I look and I feel great. I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to look good when I go out to the bars and out with my friends, so I'll really be able to show off. One thing I learned from this whole experience is you never know who you're going to run into, so always be ready for it and be well-dressed and pay attention to all those details. Well, you've seen the results. Krista looks great and not surprising. The fashion police certainly mean business when it comes to adhering to the codes of style, so stay tuned to see what fashion atrocities officers Treb and DePaula encounter next. And take comfort knowing you're on that side of the TV screen. go with something on your head I would suggest something a little more fashionable not just you know the uh, the dirtiest handkerchief under the bed so okay so why are you guys doing this though we're here to clean up these streets no come on we are the fashion police your hat baby blue matches nothing on the rest of your outfit <laughs> it is right. the major faux pas look you've got matching colors matching colors and then we stop here and it's horrible <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, stop right there. I'm going to have to write you a fashion citation. You need to take a little bit more time in the morning to do your hair. I'm going to the gym. I'm not doing my hair now, see? I'm, I'm on my way to a spinning class. Well, perhaps you could wear a hat. There's no arrest for a fashion police officer, and today is no exception. Officer DePaulo, what's today's offense? Offense? That's a good way to describe it. I'm offended by this catastrophic, casual approach to fashion. It reeks of neglect. Oh, your name is, ma'am? My name is Sonia. Sonia, is this your first offense? I wouldn't call this an offense. There's nothing wrong with the way I look. I am going to the gym. I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt and a ponytail. What's the big deal? There is no debating this. This woman is in need of some serious help. Excuse us, we have a job to do. Watch your head, ma'am. I was just walking down the street going to the gym. My hair was in a ponytail and the fashion police stopped me and I was really shocked because I didn't think I was the worst looking person on that downtown street. Okay, Sonia, are you in for a big change? Not too drastic. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at your hair. Do you have any idea how short you want to go? Well, although I was busted by the fashion police for having my <laughs> okay. hair in a ponytail, I still want it long enough for a ponytail. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, what I can see, you don't really need a lot of the length off, but just enough to, to give you a very strong shape. Mm -hmm. I'll cut the shape in first. And then what I would like to do is, um, take sections and using my scissors from the bottom, twisting the hair first and just slight cutting it to the very end. That way I'm going to be eliminating a lot of the bulkiness and weightiness that's allowing your hair to expand rather than to fall more lengthwise. That sounds like a Does good that sound good? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, Sasanya, how would you feel about becoming a wonderful redhead? Red hair, that sounds really exciting. I think I'd like to change. You'd like to change? Yeah. Excellent. That would be a lot of fun. What I'd like to do is definitely go through, and um, since you're not a major maintenance gal, is go through and put some of them in, but more in a highlight rather than a solid color. As you can see here, I'm taking big, thick pieces because of the curls in uh, Sonia's hair, and she does have a tendency to wear her, her hair curly nine times out of 10. When you have naturally curly hair, if you're applying little fine highlights, they get lost. So you need to give a little bolder of an approach as far as the width and the dimension of the highlight. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow, it's can you, can you notice that even though it's still wet? Absolutely. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, ready for oh. our first snip. And as you can see, we're finished now. Uh -huh. And I just want to show you a few different ways that you can wear it okay. as you as I've straightened it. That's that's one. And the versatility in your hair is amazing. You can change the parting on either side, mm -hmm. your natural parting as well too. I think mm -hmm. all of that works very well for you. I do love the color and I hope you like it. I think it's wonderful. You're a miracle worker. Thank you, Robin. In these whirlwind times, let's do lunch is replaced with please leave a message after the tone. The requisite attention to cosmetics is often one of the first casualties of the clock. With that in mind, makeup artist extraordinaire Kim Dignan has some techniques suitable for Sonia's busy lifestyle. Now you're in my hands. We're going to do some makeup for you. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to start with the base, okay. just even at your skin tone. Now I'm just going to complete your base with some powder and that's just going to take away any shine. Okay. And now for some bronzer. Give you a nice, natural, healthy, sun-kissed look. So I'm just going to add a soft pink blush to the apples of your cheeks, okay? To make it look like you're naturally blushing. <laughs> You have great eyebrows. What I'm gonna do is just accentuate them a little bit more so they match your new hair color. I'm just gonna accentuate the outer corners of your eyes and just add depth and shape. Your eyelash is already crazy long, beautiful. <laughs> I'm just going to add some color okay. and um, make sure I get all the shadow off them. All right. So you bring your lip liner in onto your lip, uh -huh. and then apply your lipstick on top. Your lipstick will last a lot longer. Yeah, it's a good tip. And last but not least, your lipstick which is just going to help bring out your big, beautiful lips. Okay, I'm all done. Have a look. Oh, wow, it's very polished, very nice looking. Mm -hmm. Thank you but so very much. Very soft, so you can wear it to work. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice, practical. Okay, Sonia, you're not on your way to the gym anymore. You're here at Mirabelli's in Yorkdale. And lucky for you, we have Franco Mirabelli himself to help you pick out Welcome some outfits. Thank you. Thank you. So, Franco, do you have any ideas for Sonia? Let's go. Okay, okay. let's go. <laughs> okay, come on out, Sonia. Let's have a look at outfit number one. Okay, oh, wow. gorgeous. This is great. your school teacher outfit. 
Do you want to have a look in the mirror? Oh wow, I really like it. How does it feel on? It's very comfortable, it's easy to wear, and if I'm at work, I feel like I can move around, do all the things I need to do during the day. Looks great on you. You oh, know what, this you. is our little fine linen shirt, and we've teamed it up with our bias skirt. Slid up the front, so it gives you a little bit of sort of sex appeal, but not too much. I've got something that's gonna finish this off. This little necklace that was designed specifically for my shops. It just completes the outfit. Should we go and try you in your film festival outfit now? Oh, let's give that one a whirl. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, thanks. <gasps> Very sexy. Give us, a, give us a twirl. Oh, gorgeous. I love that on you. So, Thanks a lot. Your husband's in film. Yeah, my husband works in film, and when the, with the film festival coming up, there's lots of parties and events, and now I have something great to wear. Well, you have this dramatic Perfect. kimono top, teamed with our little ruffle jean, so it's something you can definitely dress up for any occasion, specifically the film festival. We're going to be the belle of the ball. I love oh, it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. One more spin. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay, Sonia, so you've had two outfits and you've got to pick one. Which one is it going to be? I really love the first outfit. I like the tie-dye on the skirt and, and the low neckline on the blouse, but it's kind of teacherly and I have enough clothes for work and hmm. I'm really excited about this outfit. It's, it's different, it's exciting, and I think this is what I'm going to go with. Yeah, this is beautiful. That's on what you. you should do. Yeah, thank you. Well, the best part of the day was getting advice from top professionals. Robbie really showed me a lot of things that I could do with curly hair. Uh, the makeup tips were spectacular from Kim. And um, coming and actually meeting Franco Mirabelli was very exciting. I feel like a million bucks. I didn't expect to be walk into the gym with a ponytail and jeans and walk away from the day with this great new hairstyle and makeup and clothes. Thanks so much. Even if you're doing your groceries or walking the dog, the fashion police are out there and they'll be looking for you. I think this whole experience has been quite wonderful in that you know, you've pulled people off the street, you've told them that they don't look right, you've written them up, you've given them citations, you've dragged them into my store, I've gotten to work with them, put them together, and I think we've sort of transformed these women. I mean, they're beautiful to begin with, but I think we just took them that little bit over the edge, you know, and gave them that extra special touch, and I think we brought up their confidence level, we made them look modern, we made them look new and contemporary, and I think they're still themselves. What a glorious sum of events. What a tide of passions and affections that have flowed. What an era of destinies fulfilled, and hey, what a makeover. Now that Sonia has joined the ranks of the fashionably reformed, we leave you with a warning. Remember, you at home, always look in the mirror before you leave the house because you never know where the fashion police will be. Until next time, I'm Rhoda Carolison reminding you to look good. It's the law. Please refer to your manual.